Hi all, I'm Tony, this is SV Tapatia and this is the video log of the build of this boat that you see behind me. Um, she's a, a basically a 32 foot J. Benford designed uh, sailing dory, schooner rigged with junk sails and uh, as you probably know <laughs> we're getting fairly close to completion. If you're a regular viewer here you may notice that uh, in fact she's looking a bit cleaner and prettier <laughs> this week and uh, we'll get to that in due course. Well we started off this week um, as you probably know I've been working for some time on the rudder and tiller arrangement and uh, started off on making up a stainless fitting where the, where the tiller joins the rudder and uh, doing a bit of shaping and finishing on that. Let's have a look. Yeah, well, here it is. Um, it's two millimeter thick stainless, so, so not the heaviest piece. Um, I did actually start making a heavier one before this one, and I wasn't happy. So this one's come out well, pleased with it. A uh, bit of a shape to it, and some holes to fit it to the actual tiller. And the tiller's next to me here. Um, getting some varnish on, but the temperatures are very, very cold, so it's not the ideal conditions for varnishing and today one degree C is the high today so um, as you can probably imagine that limits what we can do a bit in here epoxy certainly won't can't use epoxy won't won't cure in these temperatures so um, no yeah but we're getting on fuel to come up be a few seconds there it is lovely goes on there and get down to two and a half
Well, I'm not happy with this tarp. It just clicks. Great big lumps of ice up in there, so I'm going to take it off. Yeah, the boat needs a good wash. It's horrible, isn't it? Like green and, yeah, it needs prettying up, that's for sure. Hold on a minute, I need to take this nut off. 
subsidiary. Isn't onto the here, let it all the way down. It will work like that, but that will end up causing trouble for sure. Yeah. Something just to stop it low, dropping further than that.
somewhere around there. It's somewhere around there. The still swings okay. Oh, easy. Oh, easy. <laughs> so I've been working on this lower end plate on the rudder, and I've just temporarily screwed it in place with temporary screws. I must add, they'll be they're stainless at the moment, but they'll be bronze when I put it on properly. As I said earlier, you can't epoxy at the moment, and that will be epoxied in position. Have a fillet along here uh, to make it all, you know, good and solid. And bronze screws, a few bronze screws going up from underneath that will be sealed over. That will be the completed piece. And it gives, gives you this double end plate arrangement that encourages the water flow to flow over the, the airfoil section of the rudder. And that's come out quite well. So, Next week should be warm enough to actually fit it, which will be a result. Then a few words about the rudder. You know, it swings nicely. Uh, we'll swing around to 90 degrees. Both sides easily enough. Beautifully pleased with that. And because of the angle of this hinge pin, the ang angle of the, of the axis, uh, see what happens. See, and, and something that Dan Johnson, who built a, a 34 foot one of these said, is that, that the, he found that the boat would sail, he could leave the tiller completely alone and the boat would sail in a straight line. And I feel that is to do with that effect. The fact, that angle of the hinge pin and the fact that the rudder naturally swings back to a, a central position. It'll be very interesting to get it in the water and see how that is. Time will tell. Well, that's it for this week. Thank you for watching. Um, as ever, a massive thank you to the lovely, lovely people who support us on Patreon and via PayPal. And if you'd like to show your appreciation, uh, there's, a, there's a link coming up at the end of this video to the Patreon page or over on our website, svtopatia.com. There are various other possibilities that you can find. Um, we're edging towards the 9,000 subscribers here on, on uh, YouTube. I think I'm right in saying that as I speak to you, 27 short of that lovely 9,000 number. So if you'd like to hit that subscribe button, it would be very much appreciated by me. And I promise I won't bother you too much. See you next time. Bye.